postscript, things I forgot to say last time, is that I once told my children that I would live long enough to be a problem to them. Not that they've ever been a problem to me, but I think they realised I was serious when I started collecting lampshades. And they said, oh, what are you doing with all those lampshades? I'm making hats. And they said, hats? Well, now the third owner of the yellow one and a weather more pride, probably the blue one more than anything else. And I knew I was really, really serious about Creo Samba when I told my daughter, I said, look, I've arranged as a thing in my will that I want Creo Samba to play at my funeral. And she said, Mother, what are you talking about? And I said, well, I just, it means so much to me. I said, I really, really want to be with this group forever. So that's another reason why I'm really sad that it's all great, you know, that Paul's going away and that we'll miss him so much. And um, I suppose the ultimate sacrifice and I had to do it this week. I rang my brother and I said, look, I'm really, really sorry, but I can't make your wedding. And he said, oh, well, I thought you'd accepted the invite. I said, yeah, I did, but I said, Freo Sandra have got a gig and this their last one and it just falls on your wedding day. And he said, so what's this that mean? I said, well, I'll come to the ceremony, but I said, I'm afraid I've got to withdraw my um, acceptance for the reception. He says, what you mean is, were you going to play in this group? I said, well, of course. I said, Freya said that it's meant so much to me that I'm really not going to miss this one. So I suppose that is the ultimate sacrifice. And I'm just waiting to see if he's still going to talk to me in a couple of weeks' time. Anyway, <laughs> looking forward to the Buskers Festival. My name's Trish, and I've been with Freya Sandler for just over two years. And I really, really enjoy it. I used to shoot them around three months and I always wanted to be part of it. And now I am. And I can't believe how great it is. And um, I just love performing out there in front of the crowd. And Brett Paul is brilliant. It could never be replaced because there couldn't be another Paul. Because he just brings us all together. We're well, like one big happy family. And I just love it. And that's all I can say, really. <laughs> Thanks. And um, it came along at a good time, actually, a good time in my life, and I was feeling pretty down, actually, and it was just what I needed, it was a really good, really good sort of tonic. Um, and the main inspiration, I think, was Paul. I think his, his energy and enthusiasm was just fantastic. It's just, uh, it gave me the sort of personal gift I needed at the time. I was feeling pretty down, so I had a bad work situation that I'd come out of.
together such a diverse group and to keep them focused. And I think having a professional director with an amateur group of experience is just the best crew ever possible because you've got all the enthusiasm and you've got the professionalism in the directorship. That's all my work. My name is Michael, uh, my boy Brian, my occupation is a student and I play the snare. Um, well, I, well, I started off the second season of Freedom Summer um, then I had a break for a while and then I, then I came back and um, this, every time, every week, every performance is a highlight for me. It is just incredible the amount of energy that we're allowed to, to output and, and able to output every single show, you know? It's just incredible. And the amount of energy that's given off to the audience and just just to see the appreciation in people's eyes is, and just to look around and just have everybody, not even if they're dancing, but just to look in their eyes and just see that that glimpse of, yes, they got it, you know? Especially with the Korea crowd, they just, they just understand it so well. Um, so I guess I don't have a highlight. The highlight for me is, is Frio Samba itself, the existence of Frio Samba. Um, How's it impacted your life? How's it impacted my life? Has it changed way? Um, it's given me a lot more confidence. Uh, it's given me uh, being a member of a group, of the community, sort of. Uh, I'm able to, you know, to talk to, to people and, and say I'm in this in this band, you know, this incredible samba band, and, and you know the, the the looks on people's faces, and then when the looks when they come and see me play, <laughs> 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 something, something completely different. Um, and Paul's leadership, listen, I mean, he is just the best band leader ever. You know, he is so easy going. You know, not a kick what I don't think I've ever seen Paul pissed off. No, I saw him pissed off once and it was just <laughs> you just had to laugh at <laughs> Yeah, I've never seen Paul angry before. Yeah. No, Paul Greco. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great.
has been an amazing leader. It's been fun.